So I've just brought, I've just bought Betty the van in for her first wash in about one plus years, two years now. Um, and all the guys in the car wash are looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm hurt guys um, I went to go and get a haircut the other day and the guy's only gone and trimmed my beard and I feel you know I just feel I just feel really low man it's like my beard is like me it's part of me man and the guy went and trimmed it down so I'm still getting coming to grips with you know being self all self-conscious and stuff and having a little kind of afro on my face rather than my long um signature beard which is taking me a couple of years to grow hello welcome back um i haven't seen you guys i haven't vlogged in a minute uh, one of the main reasons has been um we've been putting together the screening of our film shape in london england um went amazingly great turnout more love to everybody that actually turned up and came through and checked out the film. We had a great Q and A uh, with the director Johnny Bang Riley, and we're going to be uploading that at some point over the next couple of weeks on YouTube, so you guys can view the Q and A. And we're still working on how to present the film, where we're going to screen it moving forward. But right now, we've got no information on that as of yet. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to kind of get this film out to you guys. In the best way that we can and as soon as we can and i'll keep you updated on that so yeah i haven't vlogged in a little while um because i've kind of yeah been preoccupied and focused on that because we spent a whole year working on this film um now what i have been doing during the process of this has been filming little bits and bobs and i don't want to kind of leave them in the trash i want to kind of air them out and kind of put them all together in this vlog so that's what this vlog is today this is just kind of the bits and bobs and like the kind of incidentals and random bits that I had on the camera that I filmed because I kept up with filming for the vlogs I just haven't put any of them together so that's what this vlog is going to be and then from now on I'm going to get back on it we get back on this discussion of helping each other to be more healthy more vibrant and representative of the US philosophy so what we're starting off with this footage is going to be um, us. If you don't know already, we run a young green coconut business called Us Coconuts. And part of the business is we take it on the road and we do different festivals and we do different events and things like that. And because it's the summertime and everybody goes crazy for coconuts in the summer, there's a lot happening in the summer. So you kind of follow me through these vlogs on the journey of doing all these festivals, events and whatnot. And one of the ones that I'm going to kind of show you guys very shortly is a festival that we done outside of London um, and it was a country and rock festival. So I don't wanna keep you guys for too long. I don't wanna kind of ramble on, um, but I do wanna kind of mention one one thing, what you can do is feel free to check out our online store and that's at johnnybangrally.com forward slash us dash lifestyle. And remember, if you don't know already, 100% of the profits from everything sold from the Kevin the Soul Assassin Ross signature line go to our young warrior Desmina who's a young 13 year old girl who's fighting stage 4 neuroblastoma which is a form of cancer so hopefully through these means through these vlogs and through the content we put out we can kind of drive to raise as much money and awareness for this young warrior Desmina as possible now um, we've also got our online donations page if you don't know already and that's at www.johnnybangrally.com forward slash Desmina's fund and what you can do is feel free to check that out and you can make a donation directly to Desmina and her family via that link. So again, I'll leave the link on the screen right now in the description below and at the end of this vlog. And um, yeah, hopefully we can all work together to make a difference. And I hope you enjoy today's vlog. Try a life. Yes.
Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm currently in um, Dover. Um, beautiful place, like, I'm not quite sure where it is, but it's like very tranquil. There's like greenery everywhere, there's plants, um, rivers or some lake thing, I'm not sure. And we just so happen to have right by where, where we're camping, we happen to have a little skate park. So I'm just in here, um, I'm probably gonna hurt myself. But um, I'm out here trying to get my lymphatic system moving because you know movement is one of those ways that you get um, the waste in your body moving around first thing in the morning so that you can get rid of it. So yeah man, I'm out here. We're actually at a festival. Um, it's like a rock and country festival. It's really interesting being in these different environments with different people because you know, I never would have thought I would be going to a rock and country festival, but yet, you know, I'm here. And it's interesting, man. You know, I'm just kind of making the most of it, enjoying it. The weather is beautiful. The sun is shining. It's been like 30 degrees every day. And, you know, hopefully through this content today, um, we'll give you something that's valuable of, of value, some information, something. You know, I'm just trying to find out what it is that I'm going to give you guys. But yeah, man, ride along for the journey and try life. Okay, so that's it. Um, we've come to the end of uh, the weekend's festival, country and folk music. And um, I kind of would like to have shown in the B-roll all the footage that we kind of just showed you guys some of the action, but there wasn't much action. And this kind of leads me into um, what I really learned about this experience, which is something, a reaffirmation or re, uh, like, to confirm something that I already kind of knew which is the danger of having expectations and I suppose what it's kind of taught me is that rather than looking at your performance um, try to kind of look at what you learn from the experience and how you can kind of move forward and prevent yourself from making those mistakes again so you know the, the weather was beautiful everything was beautiful you know it was, it was a lovely weekend but it just so happened that the people uh that were there didn't really take to coconut water that was strange it was like some weird kind of i don't know if it was someone like parasailing or like attached to like some kite device but that was like it wasn't an airplane it was some kind of weird device up in the air